everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a buy or bye bye video on some really cool lip products and they are super super cute and I've seen these before and I decided to finally buy a few of them to see what I think of them. So these are called the Chateau Labiat Wine Lip Tints. This is what the box looks like. It's really cute. They are these little wine infused lip tints and the actual product is so adorable it looks like a little wine bottle it is absolutely just the cutest thing ever it always makes me think of that exo song lotto um, <laughs> I just think of that song every time I look at these. So this is what the actual product looks like and when you open it up it has a doe foot applicator and I have all six of these and I will share with you guys all the colors of them, which ones I recommend, which ones I don't, and you know just overall my thoughts on them. So all the colors have wine, you know, inspired names so quickly I'll go through all of them. There is Shiraz Red. Nabilio Red, uh, I don't know anything about wine, so I probably mispronounced that one. Um, Merlot Burgundy, this one is called Chardonnay Orange, Rose Coral, and Blush Pink. So right now I'm not wearing anything, so I'm going to apply one of them, and I think I'm gonna go with Nabilio Red, if that's how you pronounce it. Girl, I don't know anything about wine. So this is the color Nebbiolo, or however the hell you pronounce it. One thing I've noticed with lip tints is that, at least for me, the easiest way to get the most even color is to just do one coat and that's it. Um, I find that's typically the best to not get any streaks or anything like that. However, you do get a lighter color. But I definitely think that with this product um, and this specific color, you definitely get a whole lot of color from the first stain. And if you want, you can build up the colors, but especially with these darker kind of like red-violet kind of colors, I find that, I don't know, sometimes they tend to really stain in certain areas and come up a bit darker and then once you start doing more layers they tend to just kind of get patchy. So this is the color with just one stain and I will go through and I will apply a second stain which sometimes I do sometimes I don't but um, at least you can get an idea for what the color range can build up to be. So this is what the second coat looks like. I definitely think it's a lot easier if you let each layer dry between coats. If you try to just keep piling it up, that's when it gets super, super streaky. So definitely what I like to do is to let it dry completely, blot it between um, layers, and that way you can kind of get the best buildup of color. But even with the second coat, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but kind of like on the inner parts of my lips, where it's just a little bit drier, it tends to um, go a little bit darker. So whenever I blot, you can see, and it wasn't completely dry so there was just a little bit of product that comes up but after you kind of let it completely dry I think it stays pretty well kiss proof without transferring at all sometimes at the end of the night when I wear these stains um, I'll just be left with like it looks like I'm wearing a ring of lip liner which isn't the cutest look but one thing I also like about lip stains as opposed to things like liquid lipsticks is I find that with these you can go back and apply them without having to completely remove the product. Some liquid lipsticks they just turn crumbly and really patchy but I think since lip stains are so thin and like watery consistency they just lend themselves a lot better for reapplication. So in this first photo this is taken outside in sunlight and this is the first coat. This is just one layer of the stain and then in this next photo you'll see this is what it looks like with a second layer so it does add a little bit more depth to the color when you do the second layer I just like I said recommend letting them completely dry between layers so it, it does not get all kind of gunky or goopy or anything like that but I love how they feel on the lips they're very thin very comfortable they don't have a super sticky feeling once they have completely dried so I will include photos or clips of all the other colors so you can get a better representation of what the colors look like on my lips but 
but as far as the color that had the best stain just with one layer would definitely have to be the Chardonnay orange color that one is like full color right from the get-go and it is the least streaky out of all of them I would have to say my two least favorite colors would be the two lightest which would be the um, coral rose and the blush pink color I definitely think swatched they look a little bit um, truer color when it's like swatched on my pale arm with uh, no color but my lips do have a little bit of a natural color to it I guess it just depends on the type of colors you like and how bold you want to go with those colors for me if I was going to rebuy these knowing what I know now I would totally um, at least for me skip on the blush pink and the coral rose color and as far as the three red colors that they have so again there is Shiraz red um, Nobilio Nobilo red and um, Merlot burgundy I would say that Nibilio, Nibilo Red and the Merlot color are the two closest colors um, in the stains, but I still think they've got just enough difference to them. The Nibilo one is a little bit more of a red color. The Merlot one is a little bit more of a purple, slightly deeper. And then the Shiraz Red is the truest red of them all. And I would also consider the Shiraz Red one to be another one similar to like the Chardonnay Orange, how it is just really full impact color with the first application and I forgot to mention the price of these these were about $12 a piece um, from Mimi box I do have a coupon code below if you guys want a little bit of a discount on your order so overall do I give it a buy or a buy buy I definitely think for me it's a mix because for me the two colors I like the most the orange and the Shiraz red those are total buys for me especially if you like those kind of colors and as far as the two middle reds red 2 and red 3 so Nibilo and the Merlot burgundy those two I definitely like but they're not colors that I feel like oh wow I really really need that in my collection so for me this is a split it's a buy with an asterisk. Pretty much that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.